there's, you know, all that crap over there. That's why I'm back tracking it. I mean, we need it to sort of come back through here with a couple extra power-ups anyway, because you now... You have the plunger, so you can get up here anyway. Which is great. Plenty of nonsense, so... Hey, we're up a good few snacks coming out here. So, no, that's good. Damn it. <laughs> just trying to... Is that just for a bunch of snacks? It's just for the snacks, yes. Okay. This is... The, the, God damn it. This entire side is just optional with... I... Oh, look at the map. <laughs> Entire. I can. Uh, I need to see what the helm is connected to because I just. I just. I know generally about. where we need to. Be. There's just a bunch that's open. Because now with the slam, you can start working on. Because there's a button, and I think the button makes traveling the one way easier. Because. There's a specific cave we're looking for. I don't uh, believe we can get there quite yet because you, you forgot about something else. From the way I, the buttons under the fish. I'm pretty sure that cuts the slammers off. Yes. Yeah, so now I can just run. Uh, okay. Wait, what's it? Uh, it's a. Uh, it's... No, I, I thought I saw something. Okay, it's that. Damn it. When you. It's that so that you can still get. Get up there when if. When you turn things off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, it time to find a warp gate. You can actually get that monster tower then. I can? Yeah. There's a switch over. Um, if you keep going, it's near the start of that. It's under the fish barrel. Eh. And it. Yeah. Ooh, that, that was a barely. Oh, damn it. I swear the game ain't my jump there. Though, so, like, in this one speed run of someone getting all the monster tokens, they never use that switch. Of course they don't. They cross the water. Of course that's what a speed run would do. They use some funny iframes to... Just walk across the water, get the token, and turn back. It was the funniest shit. That's uh, harder than you would think. And the last day later. Oh, no. You you have to set it up right. It's not just iframes because of the way the water works. Clearly. And I could because of the walking really far, I'm going to get into the... Before moving on and shit, the walking basically to the end, exiting so that the game will respawn me on the door that's closer to this. How did I not take any damage during that? And then we'll properly move on. Oh, hey, warp here right there. Convenient. And again, just doing this, so I will just be right there, and then I'm going to use that warp gate to go to the area we want to. But first, uh, a monster token. I thought you needed a later power up for that. Getting my caves confused. 
Because I know where we need it to be. We need to be in that other cave and just confuse. I thought it was the one way, but I think I got my cave mixed up. Which is weird because I remembered it being the one way. Eh, who cares? I grabbed it. <laughs> okay, now save. System. I'll save, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we actually do need to go back to the hatch maze. Wait, wait, not the full maze, but the other side, the, where the freaking helmet was is a dock, that, and there's a witch and it goes down. That's where you need to be. I just remember that was a, I know. Oh, come on. I just remembered that other path because, yeah. So, yeah, that's what we need to be freaking aiming for. But, I mean, the loop around, we got a good bit of stuff. I have to go back for those one or two scoop snacks later, but for now, let's get it. Oh, come on! Freaking move on with the plot. I'm trying to. No, where we? <laughs> How did that hit me? I swear <laughs> that wasn't on screen. And the game said it hit me. No, no, seriously. What the fuck is that hitbox? I swear their hitboxes are bigger than the actual fucking, uh, like, a branch. On Ian, this goes back to my problem if the sorting was three hits instead of five. Yes. If we Maybe. keep, if we keep going yeah. this way, we uh, should eventually. We should pop out. We're getting, yeah, because it's past the platforms. I just remembered you need to. When I said I got my fucking caves mixed up and stuff. I don't really remember uh, this be because uh, the funny thing is one of like one of the areas over here like over here was one of the areas I was missing this shit and like from 100% in the uh, game when I was a child so that's the only reason I remember that these areas connect. This should... Eventually, we should get to... It's down. It's that dock. Because that's dangerous cliffs below. Because it's scaffolding and there's a warp that you never get. Yeah. This is what... Okay. But yeah, this is it. You needed the smash. This is... And now... Mm. Cliff! Mm -hmm. Yeah found it 
I had the wrong clip to my mind. It was this, because you need smash. Oh, I know. Though, like, well, yeah, I can see the one yeah. problem in and shit with the whole, you know, like, ah, um, the Scooby Snack thing. I would say it's like, I at least so far have mostly just been grabbing, like, the ones on the main path. Here's? With only a few exceptions, so I can see it. I do think that person's being a tiny bit petty. The two caveat to that one person, though. One, they spent the 500 that you skipped, so you're 500 higher on average because you skipped that one snack, eh? And the other caveat, like... I, I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to go down. And the other caveat of, because it was a blind run. Well, well I do remember, like, uh, you know, in very broad strokes where to go and what to do. I, uh, like, I don't remember a bunch of exact things, like, I don't remember, you know, how exactly certain areas connect and whatnot. So all well, this, uh, you know, technically, like... This isn't is a blind rod, but it has been a minute, and I was getting my wires crossed. Mm. Hey, we're back on the right track, and taking that one detour for the monster token is fine enough. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that anyway. And you got a crap ton of Scooby Snacks you kind of need, so getting fucking lost actually saved you, because you're up a good margin. But to go back to what I was saying with... The one guy, and this is what sort of pissed me off with him complaining, yes, the snack gates are kind of egregious, but knowing that the snack gates exist and are kind of egregious, and then literally ignoring all the Scooby Snacks in the game, finding a snack gate and complaining, oh, why would you have such a big number? It's like the game is like an asshole. When you literally got frustrated, dude went through, Damn it. and I get why he did this, and it's, um, funny, but also annoying, and we'll cover it when we get there. This one area, and I get why he skipped, like, all the Scooby Snacks, but because he skipped all the Scooby Snacks, and he was actually close. I have to hit the switch again, don't I? No. Damn it. Switches again, yes. This game does not checkpoint. It selectively doesn't checkpoint. Sometimes I swear the game remembers this crap. Other times it doesn't. He was complaining about that because he noticed in the, like, f he was in, like, the final area in the middle of, like, a puzzle and it checkpoint. It's like, oh, now you checkpoint? Go back to my point! I get the one area being annoying, and we'll get to that area soon, and I get why he skipped the Scooby Snacks, because that area is kind of annoying, but then, near the end of the area, he didn't have enough for the boss, and was acting like it was the game's fault, when, again, I'm sorry, no, you knew damn well that you would need Scooby Snacks, skip an entire area's worth, because... Oh, these Scooby Snacks are kind of obnoxious to grab, and if I lose, I have to you know, leave the for me. No, again, to be fair, I, again, I will concede whiz ain't. It's like, sometimes, sort of as Sean was like, when I grab that one monster token, it's like, I missed a few. You missed two or th it was like two? I missed a few in there, because again, sometimes... We will have to go back. Sometimes the isometric platforming... Forming is terrible, but... ...is kind of a bitch. So, again, yeah, I will uh, concede on that, like... Yes, but my point, you knew the 
the game would require snacks, you skip them and Damn. blame the game. That's a wind path. Yeah, I can see that. My, the main point I'm trying to get across here. Skipping yeah, out. You oh, uh, knew oh. that the tolls were only getting higher, but instead of because of that trying to constantly grab uh, them, you just started ignoring them. And then complain that ignoring them that you need to collect more, and then near the end of the game where there's a gate that's nearly eight hundred, and dude shows up with like four hundred. Like fuck my life. If we done Okay, yeah. Because we're still okay. Now that I We're on the right path. Because of course enough. To the, the, right. the Skull Cliff, one of the sections here, I think it was the Skull Cliff on I look at the <laughs> map. Yep, it was one of the sections here I was missing the Scooby Snacks on because that was a section that gave me, like, the most fucking hell, basically, as a child because of something being barely off-screen. That and uh, an upcoming section is actually one and of the platforming sections where it's like, okay, I think this platforming because of the nature of this room is actually a bit too long for its own good. Yes. Because that is one of those, like, <laughs> if you fuck this up, you have to redo all of this. You can't go back. I was seeing what, like I said, the camera is awful. I was seeing what was over there. Oh, no, there. the camera is awful. Though, and, like... So I do shit like that, it's... Weird me. fucking segue, but... Because Night of 100 Frights... Eh, 12, 12. There was the beta version of Night of 100 Frights that was going to be a PS1 game, and it was like this... In... Gotta leave a fate. I mean, there's extra snacks up here. I think... Technically, this is a slightly more correct path. Because... I don't believe I can do... That. No, there's a button! And I think you could have reached it, but... Um, because I, there was wind... Because of the way things, like the Scooby Snacks are positioned, I don't think I'm supposed to reach it at this point. Not that I, I can't, like I said, but... I, could, I believe this... Yeah, I believe no. this is how they actually want you to do it. They want you to, I think, go the long way. Oh, no, wait. No, wait, that button activates this platform. Never mind, then. You jumped off as it moved away, but you don't have the, the full ability to... Yeah. Because there's... I was going to talk about, because I just find it interesting, Night of 100 Frights was a PS1 game initially, but they never got to release the PS1 version of the game, and it's an entirely different game than than what this is, where this is like a Metroidvania type, you know, search action platformer. That was a, like, game where you were running around, where you were controlling characters in a pre-rendered movie. And some people, because of the sort of demos that have sort of resurfaced of early versions of the PS1 game. Some people think that the PS1 version was cancelled mostly because it seemed like the game was having trouble loading that like pre-rendered movie layer, all the um, hitboxes and collision on top of Shaggy and Scooby and then all the monsters. The only other game I have ever seen do something similar to that where you're technically playing over like effectively and FMV was and this is the strangest pull Toy Story Racing on Game Boy Color. No. Same idea but it's a PS1 game. Oh no. 
with with an interesting concept where this version of the game keeps the name of the original project, but they remove the entire point of why it was called that in the first place. Okay, this game still sort of retroactively keeps it a tiny bit, because the quote-unquote idea behind it, at least in this version, is it's called uh, that due uh, to, like, all of the monsters and stuff coming back. At least that's how I always took it as a child, even though there aren't a hundred monsters in this game. There were in the PS1 version. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So anyway, how many of you agree with me when it came to the point I was making about that one blind run? And I don't want to sound like I'm attacking that person, but honestly, that kind of opinion bothers me because yes, the snack gates in this game can be kind of pricey and somewhat egregious. And yes, forcing the player to collect a majority of the snacks in an area just to beat the game could be looked at as padding. But the reason that blind run bothered me, they got to a point where they started complaining that the snack gates were too pricey. But then they would skip over most of the Scooby snacks in the area they were in reach a snack gate that they could not get past and then complain as if this was somehow 100% bad game design and that it was the fault of the game. I'm sorry, no, you ignored all the snacks in an area and came up short in a game that should have established that you would constantly need Scooby Snacks. That was your fault, and you're acting like it's the game's fault because you don't want to admit that you getting angry and skipping over Scooby Snacks caused you to need to stop and grind. If you had just collected a few extra snacks, you would have been mostly okay and barely needed to grind. And yes, the snack gates can be kind of problematic, but in a game about collecting Scooby Snacks, and the game constantly makes it clear that you need these, when you ignore them and then get to a gate that you can't pass and act like this is some shocking revelation and that the game is badly designed, I'm sorry, but that is you playing the game wrong and complaining that the game design is bad. Yes, it's kind of problematic, but as long as you're somewhat thorough and not just massively skipping out on Scooby Snacks, you normally end up fine if you're a few off. You normally only need to backtrack a little bit. And most of the time, as long as you're generally pretty thorough through an area, you're normally right within the limit of the amount of snacks you need. And I could make an argument that the game isn't as egregious as it could be. While the numbers are often tight, they are normally not inherently that bad unless you play like the one person was playing and just skip out on an entire area's worth of snacks and then complain that you don't have enough. That was your fault, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me there. Yes, the system is not perfect, but ignoring the sole collectible that you are required to have and then complaining that you are required to have it, that is the player's fault. Yeah, I mean, they could have maybe decreased the numbers a little bit. That would actually make this game a bit less egregious. But ignoring all the snacks outright isn't helping. Anyway, I'm kind of talking in circles. So you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments. Or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links as well as my Discord links are in the video description. Now... As always, I need to be a shield for a minute. If you subscribe 
to the channel and if you follow me on social media that really helps our communities grow but anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video and i hope i will see you all next time so as always good morning good afternoon good evening or good night everybody i hope you come back someday see you later